Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're going to be drawing Lego Wonder Woman and pay the homage to the new movie that's coming out. Let's get going! Welcome back to the channel, my am your host, Mr. Mill, and this is going to be the first video I do in my temporary studio, aka my closet in my classroom. So hopefully it doesn't look so different and I hope you guys like it. So you can see uh, if you um, have a good screen or a mobile phone, you guys can quite see the light sketch I did with a light boot pencil. That's what that is. And I do have a little piece of paper underneath, I believe. I'm not quite sure if I remember, um, just to protect the surface a little more. So now what I'm going to do is I'm tracing what I pre-sketched earlier. So you can see I'm doing the headband followed by the two bangs going down each side. Those are not really bangs, I should say, sorry. They're like this side of the hair and they're not gonna be as um, sh like a lot realistic. So they're kind of like chunky because again, it's supposed to be plastic and it has a cube or cylinder type head just like how we do Lego characters in the past. Just like that, so I'm alternating between a micron pen and the Fabricastel pit pen just to get the different thicknesses that I want. So when it comes to the face, I want to get more detailed, so I'm using uh, I think a 0.5 or a 0.3 uh, micron pen just to achieve that. So right here, I'm doing the eyelashes. Okay, and I'm gonna do the eye, I'm gonna color it in with black, and I'm gonna add a little highlight for me to fill in in a little bit. Okay, and let me just do the other side as symmetrical as I can, being as careful as I can as well. There we are. Okay, and once I do that, I can add a little bit of a thin eyebrow on each side. For guys, it doesn't really need to be as detailed, but uh, for girls, you need to make sure you do the face correct. That way... It looks proper. So right now I'm going to use a little bit of a red marker just for the lipstick, uh, just to emphasize um, the character. There we are. All right, moving back on with the micron. I have a thicker micron. I'm going to try to shade in the darker parts of the eye. Okay, and once I'm done with that, I'm going to go to the other eye. Okay, it looks good. Next up, I'm going to need to do the torso. And again, it's going to be a box shape because it's a Lego character. There we are. And then I'm going to add the arm attached on this end. And then move on to the pit pen um, to emphasize that thicker line. Okay. Her hand's going to be grabbing her lasso of truth. If you guys didn't know, her lasso of truth does have a double function. It can tell anyone, have anyone tell the truth. Most kids that aren't used to the series and used to this character might not know that. Alright. It's gonna be nice and slender, but still very thick because it's a Lego character. And then it's gonna be up on top, being the shape of an actual lasso. But before I do that, she's going to be holding the other end with her other claw. Okay, and it's going to be waving up a little knot at the end, followed by the loop it's going to be uh, using on the top. So if you're having trouble with this little loop up top, um, you can just always twist the paper like how I did just now. And that way it looks nice and good. There you go, we're going to finish up the box of the body. Here we are. Now we can move on to the legs. So here's one foot. I'm going to try to emphasize a bend, even though Legos don't really bend on the leg like this. But um, when it comes to cartoons and video games, when it comes to these Lego products, they do sometimes. <laughs> there we go. Alright, that's a gist. Now I'm going to add some detail with a micron pen such as the emphasis in the boots and also the emphasis in the uh, costume that she wears. So down below her waistline, I have to draw individual stars. This shouldn't take too long. There 
There we are. A little bit of uh, texture on the actual lasso to emphasize that it is a rope. And then on the front of her torso is the W, just like this. I'm being as careful as I can to make sure I don't mess up. There we are. I'm gonna do a nice thin line in between everything over here. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna add some more lines down below for the yellow. And I think I'm missing one more thing. I think it's the boot down here. To mimic the other side. Here we are. And I think we're basically done with the penmanship. Let's uh, move on to coloring. So I'm going to start off as light as I can and I'm going to move on to darker colors later on. So that's why I'm starting with the yellow. Okay. Doing all the yellow parts uh, first, such as on the torso and on the headband. I'm going to use a different yellow for the lasso of truth just to have a little bit more differentiation followed by skin tone and I don't think I'm gonna add uh, shadows in this one just to see how it looks I'm gonna add some blues there's not much okay followed by a lot of red such as on the top of her star on her forehead and then of course the outfit itself and the boots all right, looks pretty cool, huh? <laughs> kind of like it with white hair. But moving on, going to do some highlights with some grays, followed by some, uh, I think, 90% uh, black. That way it's not so dark. Add some shadows, and we're basically done. Hope you guys enjoy this video. I need to probably add more shadows now that I look at it on uh, <laughs> my computer screen. But that's basically it. So if you guys want to see more videos like this, check out these videos over here. And as always, have a good one.